Hello everyone, I Want a Turtle here, coming at you with some more Sword and Shield packs. We are finishing off this booster box. Before we begin, I just want to remind you, if you do want to support the I Want a Turtle channel, you can simply do so by simply liking and subscribing. I really do appreciate it and it helps the channel grow quite a bit. Without further ado, let's begin in our first pack. We have 18 packs looking for a good amount of hits. So the first half of the box was had some high quality hits but was pretty low in volume so i'm expecting a healthy number of ultra rare or better in this opening so we're going to begin with a air balloon pretty useful card pokey kid heat more a crabby and then just a dreadnaw oh another crabby all right let's start all right let's get something good hope everyone's having a good day and yeah thank you for all the people that have been supporting the channel the channel has grown quite a bit recently and yeah we're kind of making that final push towards that 1000 sub mark it would be amazing to hit that drizzle you know i am com considering trying to build an italian deck just for fun we got galarian ponyta and then a stone stone journer All right, let's keep things rolling. And if you're kind of new to the channel, first off, welcome. Ooh, interesting that the rare slot is upside down. I feel like I don't see that very often, so I can't say, I can't really make any conclusions about what we're going to pull from it. But Quick Ball, always happy to find Quick Balls. A Rotom Bike. Oh my gosh, this is an amazing box. We had some sick pulls in the first part of the box. Uh, check out that video if you haven't already. It was, it's definitely the last video we uploaded. And then here we go. Definitely the strongest V card so far. Zacian, just ridiculous. Intrepid Sword, so good. I feel like ADPZ is just so good of a deck because as long as you can find, you know, a quick ball or something some way to tutor up the Zacian you know it's very forgiving your first couple turns when you're just trying to get that alter creation off you get additional three cards at the end of the turn so that's that's like an attack that you can even use turn one so it's totally ridiculous Hunter is our reverse and then a Drampa so not only are we expecting high amount of hits we're also getting super strong hits so this is a great opening what was I talking about before? Oh yeah, if you're new to the channel, obviously we do tons of opening like this, but we also, oh my gosh, this is upside down again. I don't recall this ever happening in the first half of the box. Seems limited to the second half. Which is kind of strange. Pokey Gear. But we also tried to do other content. A, ooh, very strange. We actually opened a Delmise in the first half and the same exact rarity as well, just the regular Delmise V. Hmm, this box is all over the place, but it's amazing. Uh, let's see, we also, I think probably my favorite series to do is Pokemart, where we kind of look at the secondary market for the Pokemon TCG and just kind of see how things are evolving, whether it's vintage cards or some of the new stuff as well. So a Syndrace, ah, earlier we were pulling tons of Syndraces, but this is not the right one. And then a Drapion. What we're hoping for is five hits. We already got two, and one of them was amazing in that Zacian V. So hoping for three more. If we can exceed that, that would be... Wow, that would be amazing. All right, let's see. We got a Stunfisk. It's like a bear trap of a card. A Nicket. And then a Marpeko. All right, see something on the side, guys. Ooh, all right. I think we, from the side of the pack, or the cards, looks like we have a hit, and it is upside down again. So every single time we get an upside down rare slot, it seems like it's going to be a ultra rare. Let's let's uh, confirm that. Score bunny, and then in DD. So upside down equals good. <laughs> in DD V, pretty cool. Psychic can punish you for having just high energy attacks and then watch over 
you know, it's probably not that relevant healing 20, but, you know, if you can do it a handful of times, that will definitely add up. Alright, upside down? Ah, uh, not upside down. Probably just going to be a regular rare here. Although, I guess, I'm not sure about the hollows. Dotler, Boltoned. Oh, I do like this one. Okay, it can be the uh, hollows as well. Intellion. Hmm, if we do go Intellion, I wonder if we can mix the different kinds. Shady Dealings just could really... Um, whatever you're lacking, whether you're looking for a specific Pokemon, could grab some trainers to do that. I don't know, you could even grab your stamp or something. Support it for turn if you haven't used it. Grab some Crushing Hammers. A lot of flexibility there. Energy Retrieval, Ferrothorn, Aurora Energy Reverse. Very nice. And then a Boring Old Raichu. Alright, let's get at least two more hits. But I'm very happy with this box. If you haven't seen our first half of it, I definitely recommend you check it out. Got some really good pulls. Thwacky Lucky Egg. Dabool. Ghastly. Knocked out with that carry off attack. Upside down. You know what that means. It means we got something good. So far we have three hits. Alright, B sharp. Salazzle. Doug Trio. Not too good on the uncommon slots. But then we have a Lapras V. You know what, Lapras V, I'm still not that impressed about, but I did, um, online, through some viewer matches, I did face a Lapras V Max deck. Obviously, it was used Lapras V, but, uh, the V Max was pretty explosive. They did use Electrode GX to kind of just explode, explosively get water energy onto that Lapras V. V Max and just deal ridiculous amounts of damage. I think it didn't help that I was also running Fire deck. So obviously that was one-shotting everything we had. Just like Claydol there. Okay, Claydol? Hmm. Alright, so just wonder if there's some potential here. Explosion does 200 damage and it deals 100 damage to itself. But that doesn't say it knocks itself out. So if you just add a big charm, it would survive. For only 2 energy, too. Worth it? Probably not. But it's something to consider. Krogunk. Or Beetle. Never ran to Or Beetle yet, but it sounds like it could be very drolly. Once in your turn, look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and then put it in any order. Actually, I'm glad I haven't run into that. I don't like to play those those control decks, and if that there was a way to make that card work, it would be so annoying. Hitmon Lee, love this art. Got Hitmon Chan in the background. Metal Saucer, very good. BD, very disappointing. And then a Cooperaja. Okay, we have three packs remaining. I want at least one more hit. I think even if we didn't get it, I'll still call this a, a good box, but definitely could have been better. Rare Candy, Lumberry, Corvus Squire, a Mudsdale, and then a Galarian Rapidash. Alright, show me an upside down, upside down Pokeball for that rare slot. Alright, doesn't look good. Stunfisk, Hyper Potion, pretty disappointing card. Team Yell Grunt, Minchino. It's not bad. Oh, nice! We are... We pull all <laughs> these Snorlax V Maxes. We're pretty good at it. Alright, so that totally threw me for a loop. When that card was not upside down, I was like, oh man, we missed. But we did get it. The, the, the Pokemon with the whole world on its belly. Snorlax. Not to be confused with Torterra, which is on his back, but... Uh, this is probably one of the more iconic uh, V Max, even more so than the silly <laughs> V Max cat, the super long cat. All right, that was our one, two, three. Oh, we did get five hits. All right, so this is 
this will put this box way over the top if we can get something in this last pack but either way it was an amazing opening we did get our Zacian and another Snorlax V Max so definitely can't whoa what am I doing all right too late usually I just give these out during our twitch streams but there you guys go all right ordinary rod oh I don't think it was upside down I feel like I would have recognized that BD Raboot Grookey very cute Ooh, not bad. That's a pretty good consolation prize. Um, we may build this Obstagoon deck. I don't think I want to run it competitively. I think I'd rather play like ADP Zacian or something like that. But it's good to just kind of run the various decks so you kind of have a good feel for when you are facing them. But I'm very happy with the results of this. Let's just do a quick recap. Ah, Snorlax V Max. Love it. And then a Lapras V, sure. Indeedy. Delmize and boom probably our best hit Zacian V Trepid Sword is so strong but that's gonna be it for me today as always guys thanks for watching like comment and subscribe all down below I'm a wanted turtle and I'll catch you guys next time